This one's going to be a little bit longer because I couldn't think of stuff that I didn't want to say about Susie and Tony. There's so much. Um, a while ago, I was in Arizona with my family and I got a call from Susie. And when I picked up the phone, I thought that something was horribly wrong because she kept screaming, I'm <laughs> Which freaked me out until I finally understood that she was saying, I'm engaged, at which point we both started happy screaming like little girls. That was about a year and a half ago, and it is finally, after a summer of many, many weddings, time to celebrate Susie and Tony's. I've known Susie for about 16 years and loved her for at least that long. She's always been a source of joy for me with her unfailing sense of humor, wonderful laugh and smile, and the enviable ability to not give a damn what anyone thinks about whatever it is she might be doing to get a laugh. <laughs> She's also beautiful. Can I get out here farther? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Lie. <laughs> okay. Okay. She's also, sorry. She's also beautiful, intelligent, and caring. Which is, which is all I could think any of us could ask for in a friend or significant other. She's been there for me. <laughs> speech. Um, she's been there for me through all of my rough times, listening sometimes for hours when I needed sympathetic ear or offering advice with the comfort of open arms. I'm unbelievably lucky to have someone like Susie in my life, and Tony is too, because of all the things that make her an amazing friend will also make her an amazing wife, and their lives together will never want for love or understanding. It's also kind of hard to watch a friend you love so much fall in love with someone else because it's hard to trust that someone else will love that friend as much as you do, as much as they deserve to be loved. But I trust Tony. We had all gone out one night many years ago and I was walking behind Susie and Tony and I saw Tony reach out to stroke Susie's hair just for the sake of touching her and being close to her. And at that moment I thought, all right buddy, you're in. This guy's good in my book. <laughs> Because anyone who can make Susie smile the way she does when she talks about Tony has my wholehearted approval. Thank you for loving my best friend and making her so happy. I wanted to close my toes with this video. I don't even know if we're going to see it. It's so bright in here. Um, because there are specific songs that remind me of different stages of Susie and Tony's relationship. In high school, it was Should I Stay or Should I Go by The Clash. Because when Susie was still over at Tony's house, 15 minutes past her curfew, being another couple minutes late never really seemed to matter. And then later in college, when Tony was in South Carolina and Susie was here, Susie told me about how she would cry while singing along with Tom Waits' Hold On when she had to leave Tony in South Carolina and drive back to Cincinnati. But most recently, the song that makes me think of the two of them is You Are My Home from the Scarlet Pimper Now. A week ago, Susie, Elizabeth, and I were talking about the wedding, and Susie said that she could live anywhere in the world or the middle of nowhere, and as long as Tony was there, we'll be home. So this is for Susie and Tony. Wherever your lives take you, may you always find home with each other. Don't you cry, I'll cry too. <laughs>